Hey guys, Sam here. I just finished installing OSX Yosemite on my MacBook Pro and I'm excited to talk a little bit about the uh, new feature called Continuity and Handoff. So I'm going to show you guys how to turn it on and uh, in order to make this feature work, what it requires is OSX Yosemite and iOS 8 on your devices. However, iOS 8.1 is the official requirement for Continuity Handoff to work properly. But because iOS 8.1 will not be available till Monday, some of the features are currently working and some won't. So I'll talk about that as well. So to start up, make sure that you have OS X Yosemite installed on your Mac. If you do not, just head over to your Apple App Store, sorry, the App Store on your Mac, and then click on Apps by Apple or Apple Apps, depending on whatever you see in your App Store. And then click on OS X Yosemite, download it, it's about 5.5 gigs, takes about 30 minutes on a fast internet connection, uh, might take a little bit longer, and then it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to install. Once you have that installed, they will ask you to set up your iCloud account or sign in with one if you already had one linked before updating. Make sure you remember your password, that's one of the most important things with these features and iCloud and all that, so make sure you know your password. Once you have set up your Mac with the OS X Yosemite. Next thing you want to do is make sure that your Mac meets the minimum requirements for for continuity and handoff feature to work. So it requires mid-2012 MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, um, iMac or later than mid-2012 any MacBook Pro with Retina display, mid-2011 Mac Mini or later. Uh, so the newest version for Mac Mini is actually Apple just announced it today, so it'll be the 2014 model. Uh, this is the newest refreshment since 2011, as it as they did not release any Mac Minis in between. Um, late 2013 Mac Mac Pro, so the older Mac Pros are not supported for continuity and uh, handoff feature to work. Once you have that, what you want to do is, or sorry, once you know that your device is eligible for a continuity handoff feature to work, what you want to do is you want to go to System Preferences on your Mac click on general and then click on allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. So this is important for iCloud, uh, for your continuity and your handoff feature to work. So once you have that enabled what you want to make sure is that all your devices are using the exact same iCloud account. So your Mac, your iPhone and if you have an iPad that you also want to use with this feature to do the handoff basically handoff is a feature that allows you to continue doing whatever you're doing on your current device on the next one so for example you're writing an email on on your iPhone and now you are sitting on your desk well now you can continue doing that on your iMac or your Mac depending on whatever model you have so we'll just go with Mac so next thing you want to do is once you have checked that once you have checked the allow um, handoff feature or the right here on your iCloud account is signed in next thing you want to do is make sure that Bluetooth on your Mac is on also turned on because this is required for handoff and continuity feature to work um, once again it's, it, it requires these models of Mac because they have Bluetooth low energy also known as Bluetooth 4.0 now the range for Bluetooth is about 33 feet however each wall would or any objects in the way like for example you have you leave your iPhone in your bag or in a jacket pocket whatever the case may be take off like three to four maybe five feet from the 33 original right it's because everything that comes in the way the signals gotta penetrate that so be uh, considerate when where you place the device when using this feature so for best connection I would recommend 15 or 20 feet um, if you have to leave your device far away like for example you have it plugged in to a wall adapter somewhere 15 to 20 feet would probably be the ideal distance for it to work perfectly without any hiccups so once you have that next thing you want to do is you want to go to your iPhone and then click on settings make sure Bluetooth is turned on because that's that's what is required for the communication once you have Bluetooth turned on then go to general sorry go to settings and go to general and click on handoff and suggested applications make sure that your handoff is on and that is the most important piece for this communication to work now like I said some of the features don't work meaning that right now from iPhone 
back to the Mac is not working. So whatever I'm doing on my iPhone, for example, like I, I, I refresh this page or if I go to um, Apple's website, it's currently not showing up. But in once iOS 8.1 launches, it will start bouncing right here. You'll see whatever is open on the iPhone show up actually right in this corner right here next to the Finder. Like I said, right now it's just not working. But it is working from the Mac to the iPhone. Um, that too, not fully. So like I'm on my Mac right now, I'm clicking, and as you can see, there's no notification actually popping up on the iPhone itself telling me to carry on but one way I've tested it that it is working for sure is by turning off the screen and as you can see in the left bottom corner right here the um, Safari icon actually shows up so if I swipe up on it it'll actually load that page that I have right there So there you go. It basically opens up the exact same page. Same goes with the email. So like some, some of the applications that are supported are working. And like I said, once iOS 8.1 comes out on Monday, everything will be working 100%. So if you just want to test it out, play around with it, right now you can with the limited features that are working. So that's about it, guys. I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, just shoot me a comment in the comment section below and I'll get, do my best to answer your questions. Also, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and also check out my other videos. Um, I do make videos often, try to help everybody out with any questions they have or some of the things that I think are important for you to understand, so I do do my best to try to get those videos posted as soon as possible. So again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you for watching my video. We'll see you next time.